we're jumping right into it. I do have a dedicated video of how I do bleach the knots on my either frontals or closures. I'll link that down in the description box below. But I just wanted to show a quick overview of it again because you know everybody doesn't watch every single video and I do use the foaming wrap lotion to um, slick back all of the baby hairs and once that's done I pin it up and then I'll flip the wig inside out and pin it down to the mannequin head. I am using BW2 bleach and 40 volume developer it really doesn't matter which brand you use. I will say quick blue um, that is more beginner friendly because it kind of still stays like really creamy and BW2 can get very liquidy if you do use too much developer. So just kind of add a little bit each time like I'm doing and make it very, very pasty. So in a minute, I'm going to um, flip my bow upside down and you'll see that even when I flip it, it still wouldn't fall out the bow or fall off the applicator brush. And that's the consistency that you need. So pour just a little bit in and then stir it around and keep doing that process if you are using BW2 bleach. And as I'm putting it on the lace, try to use a very, very light hand. Some people do like to use um, a plastic knife. Um, I don't like to use that or some people I've seen use a spoon. I just use a very small applicator brush and be very, very light with my hand. <laughs> using the shimmer shimmer lights or shimmer and lights um, shampoo and conditioner just to um, get out the orange brassiness tones out of the lace you can usually find that at your local beauty supply store Sally's Beauty any place like that this is a leave-in conditioner that I got in the Ipsy subscription I will leave the name down below for you guys if you want to check it out it does smell really really good this blow dryer was a gift to me for Christmas from my cousin Donna shout out to Donna I wouldn't recommend blow drying your hair unless you really need to, but this made my hair really, really dry and really, really rough. So this whole process, I wasted like 35 minutes of my time. I did actually go back in with Aunt Jackie's leave-in conditioner and shampoo and re-shampoo to get it conditioned the hair. <laughs> but I just wanted to add it in to show how I do blow dry hair. And I it looks it looks like I'm plucking extremely fast, but I swear I'm not. Um, I'm just parting out the baby hairs that already came and then I will pluck behind that and then I will part down the middle maybe go halfway depending on your part and what style you're looking for I'll kind of go halfway and then I'll come back up and then just repeat the process and usually um, I'll put it on my head to kind of see what else I need to pluck you'll see that later in the video If you're new to my channel, my name is Akira Janae. I will be reviewing Hey My Wig again. They sent me their straight 13 by 6 lace front wig. Um, the packaging said 26 inches, but they told me 24 inches, and I think it is 26 inches. So in your box, it comes with a cute little hair tie. It's very, very soft. Two wig caps. They also sent me two hairpins. They sent me two last time, but this one actually has an A and a B for my last name. So shout out to y'all. Thank you for that. I really, really love them. It also comes with an elastic band. The, ne the needle and thread did not come in there. I just put it in there because I was sewing on the elastic band. And it also came with bobby pins and, of course, the bag. But baby, 26 inches, boo. I already love her so much. One thing I am really, really mad about is I basically already messed up my wig. <laughs> um, I guess I was just so tired. I did this at like one or two o'clock in the morning, but this side I cut really good along my ear. This side is the side that I really fucked up. Like, look how much I fucking cut off on this side. But I mean, we gonna, we're gonna make it work. It's okay, we're gonna make it work. But the wig itself still is very, very beautiful. 
I like it. Comes with comb in the back, comb in the middle, two combs on the side, and this is the lace. I don't know if I've shown it already. If so, I'll insert another video. So yeah. So I did, like I said, I bleached the knots and let me turn my fan off. So, like I said, I did bleach the knots to this hair and I know you can see my wig cap, but I'm not doing the um, stocking cap method or whatever because like I said, this is going to be a glueless install and I honestly hate that method. Like it looks really natural that way, but I just can't get with all the magnets and you know, trying to do all that crap. It's, it's, it's not for me, honestly. So. I'm just gonna use some concealer do that or whatever but this is how she looks before you cut the lace um i did want to show you um see and if you do the stocking cap method you won't really be able to see all that so actually i'm gonna move i guess the stocking back just a little bit uh, what i was saying parting space on this wig it is a lot of space because it is a 13 by 6. start cutting the lace I do um, brush or comb the hair back and pin up each side and I like to cut the hair in three different pieces especially if you are gluing it down it just makes life so much easier and instead of cutting with the scissors along the entire hairline I do like to use an eyebrow razor you get them for like 99 cents and it gives it a more jagged uneven cut to make it more realistic as you can see it looks really really good and it's already blended in without any glue or any baby hairs or anything like that so i really recommend cutting with the um razor because this literally could have been my everyday wig which I mean I can still finesse it but I would like an effortless wig and since I fucked it up slightly it's not really effortless all the way okay, so just because I kind of want to make this really really secure i am going to put a little glue on the sideburn because all of this is still open as you can see It is so natural looking.
this is the finished look of the hair. I really, really love this unit. It is glueless and honestly, it speaks for itself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends. And I will see you lovelies in my next video.